hands together for our next Olympia comedian, the wonderful Elise Garrett. That's you. That's you, baby. I almost started clapping. It's like, oh, who is that? Cool. Um, so I have like a whole bunch of jokes ready. I wrote them on my hand. Um, and now I like thought of a whole bunch of different ones to say. So this is pointless. Don't, don't worry about that. Um, I don't actually wear glasses that often. Um, I'm supposed to, but I don't. Um, and these aren't the ones that I usually wear, uh, but the reason I wanted to wear them um, was for a special reason, so I could. <laughs> Thank you. They're my mom's glasses from the 90s. <laughs> These are, these are really dark. Um, okay. Uh, hey. So, um, I gotta, uh, 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 this is the whole reason I even wrote this on my hand. Um, so, I, I, I don't know, masturbate. Um, and even if I did, I wouldn't tell you because I'm really uncomfortable. Um, but I do watch porn. Um, it's just, I watch it for sport. Um, <laughs> I just really like the, the like spirit of it. Like, yeah, you go, you go, girl. Like, you're having a fun time, and I really support that for you. Like, that's really cool. Like, you go. Like, awesome. You said, wipe that off, please. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, so, I I know a lot of people my age that uh, suck a lot. Um, <laughs> And they're all like really dumb and stupid. Uh, and my friend, my best friend, Calvin, um, he's 16 and he's still in high school. Um, <laughs> which is kind of embarrassing going out in public with him, but it's not at the same time because he doesn't seem like he's in high school. But we, we have a certain term for ourselves because we're like so smart, we're like woke. Um, but we're like above that, so we call ourselves uh, the woke Uber mention. Um, and if you don't know what a mensch is, um, look it up. <laughs> so I'm not really gonna tell you, but you get the point. Like you probably know, you probably get it. Like just from me saying that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I wanna see what else I wrote on here. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, so talking about garlic. Um, <laughs> One time, I used to work at the mall. I actually just started, I got a new job at the mall again. Um, it's my second job, so now I'm double employed, which is cool. Um, but I used to work at the mall, and one time I got a UTI. Uh, it's not relevant to working at the mall. Um, <laughs> one of my coworkers was like, it's like, this really sucks. Like, I hate getting UTIs, because I get them a lot, because I'm a slut. Um, <laughs> She was like, oh, thank you, yeah, you go girl, yeah. And she, she said, you know, I know a natural way to like help with that. And I was like, oh, do tell, like, cause I get these a lot. And she said, you take a clove of garlic and you shove it up your vagina and you leave it there for a few days. And then you take it out and it's gone. And I was thinking like, whoa, this has to be a joke. Oh my God, but she was so serious about it. I, I really wanted to laugh, but I was kind of like, oh, oh, that's, wow. Tell me more about that. And she said, your vagina will smell like garlic for a while, like a few weeks, but it'll work. Like, I don't know about that. Um, I don't know, maybe if you're Italian, like that's. I don't, really, I don't wanna. I, I, I don't know. I wanna stick to. Never mind. Um. So I, I, I am in college. I take online classes though, so I'm kind of in college. Um. I just, I'm super poor, so I can't afford to drive to any campuses. So I just like take classes at home, um, which is fun. Like it's cool. Um. But because of that, I don't really see anyone, like, ever. So I just kind of hang out at my house with my two cats and my dog and yell at my brother all day. It's like, it's not too bad, but I want to die all the time. Um, <laughs> it's really the worst. Like, I, I'm glad I have a second job now. Um, so if you guys see me at Vomity, um, I talk about bald eagles a lot, uh, which you may know. 
and I'm going to do it again tonight. Um, <laughs> so last year, I saw 36 bald eagles. All year, yes, 36. 36, yes, it's crazy, crazy. Where are they coming from? And guess what? I just thought, so, this year, I'm, I'm still counting. I'm still doing it. And this year, I officially have seen 37 so far, so we're getting somewhere, yes. One more. I was actually, I got to 36 and was like, no way. Just another one, two years in a row. And then I was thinking like, what if this is the last one I see all year? Like it's gonna be, I'm not allowed to see more than 36 bald eagles a year. <laughs> and I got really worried because I kind of like, I'm connected to bald eagles now. They're like my, my bros. So like when I, whenever I see a bald eagle, I'm kind of like, is that another fucking bald eagle? Like, hey buddy, what's up? <laughs> 37, okay, cool. Um, I actually, I have an app on my phone, uh, it's called Tally, um, and it is for keep counting. So I keep Tally and my bald eagles on, on my Tally, Tally app. Um, what time is it? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, time about drugs. Um, I'm only gonna mention drugs a little bit. Uh, I, I like to call joints crime cigarettes. Um, it's not really applicable here, but if you go like anywhere else, it probably is. Like, I, I was just talking to Anna about this, and hey Anna, hey, you remember this? This was a few minutes ago. Um, we were talking about like how weird it is to go out of state and like to a state that doesn't have weed legalized and you're kind of like whoa you can't just like walk down to the store and get it and they're like no i have to like use a fake phone and like call it, like and then i have to smoke it like in some kind of abandoned field like <laughs> and then I, and I have to burn all my clothes afterwards so the police can't smell it like <laughs> my dad my dad likes to grow weed um but he just he moved to alabama and to back to Alabama, that's where he's from, and immediately he went to Colorado. <laughs> so right off the bat, he's like, I feel good, this is comfortable for me. Yeah, um, so, man, the, the time keeps changing. Oh my God. Wow. Um, so, <laughs> I don't get, I get, I get really hot a lot, um, but it's not, even when I'm not hot, I, I sweat a lot, um, and it's getting to be a problem because I can't, lift my arms anymore unless I'm in a tank top um but I did notice like I use men's deodorant because like better like honestly because like men are the only one that ones that sweat like well okay like I sweat like a gorilla okay I need this but I think it's changed like the natural scent of my sweat because if I don't wear deodorant I'll like this is really gross but I'll like wipe my armpit and smell it just to see like how bad it is and it smells like fresh mint leaves like I'm so proud of myself like wow you go like that is so fresh good for you <laughs> so um I did go through a goth phase in high school with <laughs> my sophomore year um, it was a dark time for me, and I, I was kind of like, I was into like the aesthetic, like the aesthetic reeled me in, but I was like, maybe I should like not be a total poser about this, so I, I should probably learn what goth music is. <laughs> and, like, looked up like goth music, and it said, the first thing I saw was The Cure, I was like, oh my, no way! I love the cure. Like, cure is goth. That's crazy. Like, I, I, I was expecting it to be like, <laughs> but it's just like some guy singing about boys crying. Like, that's cool. Like, cool. But I mean, I kind of get it. Like, it's kind of depressing. But I mean, the Smiths. Like, I like the Smiths. The Smiths are depressing. Um, but it's mostly because every time I listen to them, I think about how shitty Morrissey is. Like, yeah, fuck Morrissey. Fuck that guy. He sucks. Fuck Morrissey. Anyway, um, I think U2 is kind of like the opposite. Like, U2 sucks, but like Bono is like Jesus. Like, although personally, I hate Bono. 
because of kind of like, oh, good for you, Bono. You saved all these lives. Way to just exploit that, you dick. Like, oh, good for you, Bono. You saved the world. Oh my God, I owe my life to Bono. Bono's a modern Jesus. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just tell this last one real quick. Um, so I think, I've been thinking a lot about interventions because um, I'm wondering when mine will be. Uh, it's, I know it's coming. I just hope it's, I get like a little more fun in before it does. Um, but I believe there are different styles of interventions and I have a favorite personally. I do have a favorite type of intervention. Um, it is one that I created, but it may, you have seen it many times. It may have been in your 90s sitcoms. Uh, many a time. Um, so basically how it works is you you light a small fire and you let it like kind of build up and then you start yelling like, oh my god, ah, so help, help, oh no. So the alcoholic runs in, but you don't say it's a fire so they can't just like run away to escape the fire. You leave them guessing. And then as soon as they come in, you grab whatever drink is in their hand and you throw it on the fire. And if the fire expands, you can immediately confront them about it and be like, do you, do you see this? You're an alcoholic. You're an alcoholic, that's alcohol. I know it's, you can't argue with chemistry. You're an alcoholic, you have a problem. And then if that doesn't work, you can always fall back on like the fact that they're physically endangering both of your lives in that moment. Like, this house is gonna burn down because of you, thanks a lot. <laughs> thanks a lot. <laughs> I like to call that um, chaotic good slash guerrilla style intervention because you're like right in the moment, you're right there. It's all happening right there. <laughs> It's really combative and everyone feels really upset. <laughs> it's really emotional, it's really disturbing. Um, you can also do something similar to this with uh, driving, but it is not, it is not as, it's not gonna be as, um, it's not gonna work out too well. So it's probably best to just do the fire thing, but um, I saw that on Friends. Um, <laughs> and it inspired me like not that specifically, but something like that inspired me to uh, make up different styles of intervention. So I'll get back to you guys once I figure some more out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I've been at least there.